hey guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i have a very exciting video something new something new literally yay we have a lot of exciting stuff coming oh i think my mom's coming so we have a very exciting video today and we don't normally post videos like this like sharing i guess stuff we buy yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like we don't really like do like reveals like oh my god or anything like that But this is a very exciting moment today, and it is a very like fun happy moment and a little this takeover Yeah, so like Blanca said, you know, we have a lot of exciting stuff um, A lot of stuff we're gonna actually be sharing like a lot. Yeah, too. July's gonna be crazy Like it's always crazy every single year that we've had the yeah, kids and, like yeah. everything lands in July ironically, but we got a new car Yeah um, I know, right? We don't even know how to celebrate because we don't, we don't even we don't even do that. I know. I wanted to share this with you guys as well, just because um, it's really this is dad car. Yeah. And um, I wanted to share this moment, obviously, with you guys. And I know that when we got the um, G wagon, we didn't like announce that we got it or anything. But I feel like this year we definitely want to be a little bit more appreciative and share the good moments that we do like i feel like for a long time i was obviously you we were same way like we were very not scared but we didn't like for people to think that we're just kind of rubbing shit in people's faces mm -hmm. or anything like that um so we kind of stayed a little bit like low-key just chill about it you know what i mean because yeah it is our life but i want us to be able to share these good and special moments because obviously a lot of these things wouldn't happen if it wasn't for the support and the love that you guys share for us on a daily basis and a lot of it is thanks to you guys like we would not be able to give ourselves these things or buy these things if it wasn't for everything you guys have done for us yeah yeah so you guys deserve it right to know so um i actually haven't had a really a car yeah of my own in years dude you know the funny thing is that i'm actually a car guy like a lot of people don't know that but i know a lot about cars i've always been into cars um, I do, yeah. So like, <laughs> people find it interesting. But there was a time where I did have my my SRT Jeep. So we'll post a picture here. Yeah, we'll post a picture here. So it was really like ahead of its time, and that's why like these SUVs that are fast. Like I just need the horsepower, you know. So Blanca, yeah. I've like, I don't I've, care. She's, as long as it's cute, she doesn't like... even know. Yeah, she doesn't even know. But I told her, dude, this one here is like literally it. Yeah. So um, it reminds me so much of that car, though. So that's why I think I love it so much. Like, and it's crazy, guys, because knows, when we got you know? the G wagon, Lisa's was not like he was excited. I mean, obviously, like, and then one thing too, it's like obviously the G wagon was like a reward for myself and. I've always told Elisa, like, nothing is ever mine. You know what I mean? Like, I don't ever buy something and it's, like, my Jeep, my car. You know, like, it's our car because we're married. You know what I mean? Just, like, this car is our car. <laughs> we already yeah. buy myself in there. Yeah, right. Um, but, like, everything is ours. Nothing is ever just mine. So, like, I, like, when we got the G-Wagon, like, that was something for us, too. But he liked it and it was cute. But, man, this car is, like, a different level. Like, he's just out here. Yeah. It Loving feels it. it feels like a car, but it's an SUV. It's fast. Like yeah. it looks good. It's it's the color. You know, we're gonna reveal everything in a bit with like a super detailed like yeah. walkthrough. But it's a little tour for you um, guys. It's dope, man. The kids fit perfectly in here, which we love. Blanca loves driving it. It's super comfortable. Mm -hmm. And each one of our cars is different in its own way. Like today, I was in the Jeep and I went to do an errand. I just love how I could just feel like I run through a whole road with that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. But um, for sure, you know, it, it's a it's it's good to be able to obviously share with you guys and also pat ourselves on the back you know because it, it is through hard work regardless of anything but yeah um i'm excited to you know show you guys a little bit more about it. i mean clearly you guys could already see it has a red interior which we like yes and a lot of you guys have been actually asking um that's actually the interior not her dress <laughs> yeah i know he's like why are you wearing that fancy dress i was actually filming some content right now but um yeah the car is obviously a really nice car you guys don't, even don't I, we haven't mentioned what kind of car it is or anything like that but um, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna have Elisa's give you guys a tour and do the big reveal of what car we did end up getting. And before anybody asks, I know a lot of people have been asking if we're gonna get rid of the G Wagon. And we got an amazing offer that I feel like if we don't end up doing it, we're gonna like let it fly by through us, you know. But we just still haven't made the decision if it was the smart decision to make just yet. If we do want to get rid of it or if we don't, and I still don't even know what car I would even want to get to replace the G Wagon or anything like that. Just 
in the sense of like what kind of car I would want to have the kids in and stuff like that, you know? So the Jeep, I feel like it did its moment with having the kids in there, but it's also like they're it's gotten a little uncomfortable. Yeah. You know? But but like I feel like bumps. individually we don't mind, we love it. You yeah, know, by arguing with ourselves and like us just taking it. Like that's our, We could that's beat that one up, you know? Like yeah. that one I feel like it's um That's that's obviously also that was one like my dream car is like I know yeah. people think like that's your dream car, but that was like my little girl dream car that I saw myself in a Jeep, you know? Um but yeah, I'm excited um i can't wait for you guys to see the car and ulises is gonna share with you guys and we're just so happy and um he's gonna be right i don't know I, I, it's quite funny because i always thought like what do i what kind of car do i see ulises in right and when i see him in this car i'm like it fits you yeah and the funny thing is too um there's other cars that she envisioned me in, but in reality you know well, uh, well was... i'm a family man so it's just you know this Aww. it doesn't make sense to get I was like, like, let's just get you a Lambo, babe, or no, let's no. do like a Maserati, you no, know, no, like no. a sports car. He's like, yeah, I don't really clean, like. You know? They're cool, they're cool, but in reality, I don't really care for that. Like, it's almost too flashy in a way. Even yeah. though, like down the line, maybe it'll be nice, but it has to be something we both enjoy at the end of the day. So, yeah. um, I love you know the kids love this one. It's super comfortable, like I said, um, for so many reasons. So let's get into the actual. Yes. So do you want to share what kind of car we got, or are you going to share say you're from outside? So yeah. We'll okay. see you through the so we'll see you guys right now outside. So let me show you guys my outfit. Do you want to record me, babe? I look like La Reina del Sur <laughs> with my dress. In the front, follow me over here. This is so cool. I really feel like those channels where the guy is like guiding the people on like what what the details are on the car so it's like the um the the crib one the mtv cribs when they show their car section yeah I'm like come on <laughs> all right join me come over here let me show you what it is so here we have the 2022 range rover sport svr guys so it's special special vehicle operations is literally the top of the line for this one in terms of like the sports package so let's show you guys what makes it really different so it's black on black obviously but i want you to really zoom into the hood i want them i want them to really see the carbon fiber detail and this is the shit that i don't even know nothing about yeah. that i'm just like cool but it, it's dope because it's almost like you don't see it though it's literally yeah. just in the center so it's very it gives it the manly vibe right and then get a little lower pop a squat for me and you see the badge right there in the bottom zoom in I'm like, I care about all this shit, you know? Yeah. We got the SVR. I mean, it's just a really nice looking car overall for the fact that it's black on black. We got the 22 inch wheels with the red calipers, of course. A ver, pues, pues, ponte enfrente de la cámara. Little, we got, little we got tour little moment. Carbon fiber. We got the little carbon fiber here. We got the carbon fiber on the actual uh, side mirrors here. And let's go to the back real quick because you know we want to do the outside first. So this little wing looks pretty cool actually, like from a side profile. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Stand over here. Stand over here. I'm like, of course you don't. But if you look at the car from a side profile, like it looks really. Clean. It looks like a little shark. You. Yeah, it looks like a little shark. So <laughs> then come over here, and then of course in the back. So then we got the black on black lettering here, Range Rover, carbon fiber detailing here with the SVR badge, and then we got the four quad tips in the back so it has a nice sound to it actually um before i show you guys the inside let me turn it on ah, okay i should get out of here though right i don't no, want it to right there. okay ready yeah get low though babe So ugly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Dude, it's crazy because it has, you know, it actually doesn't even sound like that in the inside, right? Maybe? But no. it has the option to open up the exhaust if you want to. That's actually without it being open, so it has that backfire. See, car people are going to know what I'm talking about. Okay, cool. Well, right, so ladies, I have your husbands watch this video with yeah, you. Yeah, have your husbands watch. <laughs> um, let me open the back, too, because... The car seats are already back there. I know, but but I'm, like, over here trying to show them the, how the badge... The SVR badge is pretty much everywhere. Um, now, if you come to the back, we come a little closer. So, as you can see here, we have the carbon fiber detail here. Of course, the red patent leather, whatever it is. 
I don't even know if it's patent leather, but it's leather. It's nice leather. And then, of course, we got both of the car seats. The kids have a lot of leg room back here. But I did buy these on Amazon. Who so says right away was like, we are putting these in here. Yeah, so literally I bought these. And the Jeep, actually, I bought them for the Jeep. But the Jeep has plastic in the back, so it doesn't really matter. But this one, it, the, it's a nicer material. And um, we didn't do this when we had the G-Wagon. And sure enough, the kids were, like, dirtying it yeah. really bad they and all that up, stuff. They fucked up the back first. Yeah. But it has, like, the nice AC stuff in the back, too. So... Um, it has that for them and overall like how do you think the kids fit back here no the kids love it oh my god they're obsessed they honestly they love it and it's cute because max is like let's take puppy's car let's take puppy's car like he just loves this one yeah and then over here um sit down in the actual inside and at least this is a pretty tall dude like a lot of you guys don't know how tall he is but he's 6'1 and like I'm six he's two now, low key. <laughs> I feel like I grew over here. Everybody's been telling me. Um, he is a pretty big guy, so like he's tall, so he fits really comfortable in here. Yeah. So we have, of course, the dash. I got to put some gas on it. Um, the nice steering wheel. How much does this fill up of gas? Be? This one was for sure like 150. Maybe. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but we definitely got to do something nice for the people. I know a lot of people have been struggling with gas and stuff but yeah we should um, probably do the gas thing again yeah, for sure we, we have to do it for sure um as far as the or you know what you guys should do comment down below we'll maybe have like a little giveaway for like five girls we'll do some um gas gift cards yeah, they like, have gas like gift cards to chevron right? Like that, right oh okay yeah, yeah. yeah. we can do something like that in the comments since we're talking about cars i think it'll be good for us to do that um come over here real quick so in here we have this really cool compartment blanca loves this so like i said <laughs> carbon fiber everywhere but it has this almost hidden thing where you have a cup holder and then it has a really deep pocket here and then this right here is probably one of my favorite parts so it's actually sorry i can't here, open it um it would be like obviously like i for me it's very cool because like we always keep chocolate in here so it's like imagine some cold chocolate oh, man. <laughs> yeah but it lovely, keeps it cold lovely. and then uli says his yerb <laughs> and then up here actually we have the double sunroof so you could kind of show them to the back and then you could obviously open it up and then if not you could just close it but it's kind of a vibe when it's open honestly. yeah no i love it and i'm telling yeah. you guys a lot of people were actually asking me on my stories did you get a new car did you get a new car because they've noticed the obviously red seats they noticed the sunroof on top and those seats are everything i love sports seats. yeah so these are actually the um i forgot the name of these actually but these are literally like race car style seats mm -hmm. um i forgot the name like i was sound like i really know what i'm talking about like name the name but um let's talk let's look at the back it does have like a good amount of room back here and then of course you could pull this bring it down depending what you have but i mean all in all i love the car it's I sprinkling mean, we need to hurry up all in all i love the car it's sprinkling um it's really nice it's fast like we we probably got to give them like a little tour like a little tour where we step on in yeah i'm down we go crazy when we put the kids to sleep, we'll take it on a night, on, on a, a night, night ride. ride. Yeah, but I no, mean, we'll show them, we'll show them what it looks like at night. Yeah, at night looks crazy. So let us know what you guys think. I mean, it was a pretty brief video, but um, let me know if I know what I'm what I'm talking about because this is like the first time I think anybody's talking about cars. But seeing Max like being excited about it, like it, it makes me more excited later down the line when my actual truck is done being built. And I really did it for the kids, so I know they're gonna enjoy that truck growing up. Um, and it's cool to make those memories with them, you know, so overall like I love the car. It looks good I feel like I'm comfortable in it. The kids love it. Blanca loves it. So let me know what you guys think So excited, but we're gonna go inside because the car we just got washed today and it's raining it's starting to sprinkle. I know go take it I'm gonna have him park it in the car in the garage I'm so happy I'm so glad that he has his little daddy car She's a baddie. She's a baddie. I'm a little jealous that she, he's with a baddie every day. 